Got a good one. Got a good one for you guys. Hot off the press, too. This is from today. Okay. All right. So, you're going for a swim. You're just off the coast of Perth, lovely Western Australia. Right? Dangerous waters. A man posted a video, right, after he was attacked in the water by an animal. So, first, let's, let's pull up the picture of his injury and see if you guys can guess what animal attacked him in the ocean. Okay. I like this. It's yeah. kind of an animal mystery of sorts. A little bit. A little bit. Ah, jellyfish. Ah. Yeah, I was even going to say that. For sure. Yeah. Something Swim that into a jellyfish. Yeah, it's stung yeah. Man of war. Maybe I see a, the little maybe welts a... there. Yeah, come on. Oh, that's right. It. There that's are, a... There's like little welts, like little yeah. white elevated bumps there. That's the best you got, Patrick? That was your animal mystery? Looks like he was stung <laughs> by something. Well... Right before he took this picture, he t- as he retreated from the water after he was attacked, he took a video of the culprit, and there's a really interesting moment of animal behavior in this video that I have never seen before. So let's pull that up, Will, for the big reveal. Oh, wait a minute. Is this there the right video? Is that an octopus? Yeah. Oh, shit. Look at it lashing oh, out. My- yeah, that's, oh, wow. you're telling me that's not an alien? Are you kidding me? It is the, it's exactly what a gray alien depiction head looks like. That's an alien. It really is. Wow, but, look at how he lunges at out of the water with that aggression. That Can is you, awesome. How many, I'm curious, how many arms does he lunge with? Is it, it's like, looks like, like two. three or four? Like, two? It looks like he's throwing his, kind of like his back six into it and using his front two to like shoot forward. It's it's really interesting. I've never seen anything like this. One thing I will say, I've said this before. Everybody, you, you know the whole joke like everything's deadly in Australia. Oh, Australia, you know, you're going to yeah. die. It's such bullshit. If you if you're an Australian brosner, you're a puss, okay? Go to Africa. Everything <laughs> actually wants to kill you over there. But, here's what I'll say. Australia has the most aggressive animals. Like this doesn't surprise me this is coming out of Australia. I don't know why Australia's not that scary. Like, the biggest thing they have is, like, fucking kangaroo. But they all super aggressive over there for some reason. Whereas in Africa, we have, like, lions and hyenas and rhinos, and they're all just, like, sleepy and lazy. I, I, it's just, like, it's very weird. <laughs> and this is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing an octopus literally lunging at someone. It's crazy. Well, it's That's so fantastic. Obvious, obviously, it grabbed him on the back of the neck or kind of wrapped itself around him. And then he went, you can see he's right on the shoreline, and it follows him all the way into the shore and makes one last lunge as if it was like trying to eat him. Like, what do you think it was doing? What, what got it would get it so hot that it would follow him to the shore and make a lunge? I have to imagine this is defensive behavior. So the only time that I'm aware that an octopus shows aggression is, is for food, basically, meaning they're being protective of their den or their food. So I don't know, but I have to imagine this guy happened to swim near this octopus having just made a kill or being being by its den, you know, where it has dragged a kill to, and then this octopus is like, no, this is mine, and just started chasing this guy around. I agree. <laughs> Thank I you, was Tim. waiting. I was waiting to see what you'd come out with. I, have, I mean, other than the fact that it lost, it left its phaser on the spaceship, uh, I think this is its only move to protect the food that it obviously you know, stirred up in non, non animal, non earthly animal ways because this thing's not, not an earthly animal. Well, notice CNN. the color change. Oh sorry, oh, sorry. No, I was no, just going to no, say, notice no. the color change. He comes up and he's this kind of flat grayish color. And then right yeah. there he darkens out, which is like, dude, you it's know, it's instant. like, it's kind of like the guy at the bar puffing up his chest. Like, you know, here we go. And it's like, it's that same thing. You're seeing this aggressive attitude, change color launch, like it's pretty cool. Does it, so in the article I was reading just now, it says that he, uh, that it sprayed ink or the ink like substance that they do when they spray before they spray that, is that, is that a, do they like build that up in their body and it turns them darker? I know they can change colors obviously, but like, do they like get it and then it out? So no, it, like, no, 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 no. Two, two entirely different organs. So they have an ink sac, which is an organ that holds like, imagine literally, like, what's in your pen. You have that, you know, it's not long and skinny like that. It's like a tiny little water balloon within the octopus that holds ink, and they can okay. recharge it, and, you know, it shoots out, empties out, and then they can build it back up. Um, gotcha. But the color change... Like Street Fighter. Yeah, the color change comes from those <laughs> intelligent chromatophores in the skin, which is completely unrelated to the ink. 
One thing I noticed was like, you know, CNN ran, the, ran this story today and posted a link to the, to his Instagram. And so obviously the, the post blew up and has hundreds of thousands of views. And one thing I saw was like, the guy says nothing about what he was doing when he encountered the octopus. He doesn't say, Hey, mm. I went and charged this octopus in his den. Interesting. And then suddenly it's just an influx of people just trashing the guy. Next time you encounter a wild animal, why don't you leave it alone? It's like he didn't say what he was doing. I love how <laughs> right. I love how the sort of internet mob just assumes the worst out of everyone. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah. Outrage uh, culture. The internet mob always assumes the worst out of everyone. I I gotta tell you, I put up a, a joke yesterday because it was April first, and I I put up this like naked calendar spoof on my social media. I don't know if you guys saw it. Put it on Facebook. Oh, I saw it, baby. So Facebook, let's you know, let's be clear. It's an older generation on Facebook, at least for outraged people. Like you must be so <laughs> desperate for money that you're doing this. I thought you were a real biologist, and I literally was just like, yes, these are the best comments that I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good because, like, on on April first, I'm always I got fooled by some bullshit. And it, and then uh, of course you realize it as you're like like reading it, getting outraged about something. I'm like, oh yeah, like I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be a moron. And then you and then you snap out of it. But it's it's so funny that anybody gives a shit. Like if you were to do a calendar with your with your naked, uh, frame maybe on I it. will. Maybe it won't be a joke. Uh, I, I think you should. Uh, I think you should. <laughs> Pat, did you just do the wrap it up thing as if like that won't be shown to all the audience? I, I don't care. We got to wrap it up. You're trying yeah, to do more than one of these today, right? So, <laughs> okay, okay. So, dick good head. night. I guess so. <laughs> Pat's a dick. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs>